In this presentation, we're going to enter data into our payroll register for the third payroll period, that being October for our problem. It's going to be the first payroll period for the last quarter, which will include October, November, and December. In order to do that, uh, we're going to freeze the panes so we can see the data that we are working on. To do that, we're going to go up to A4, cell A4, so scroll all the way up, cursor on A4. Then we're going to go to the View tab up top, Windows Group, Freeze Panes button, and Freeze the Pain. Okay, so then we're going to scroll back down now, now that we have no pain or, or frozen panes. So we're going to go back to the uh, payroll for October. So we're going to enter in this information again. That, that we're going to have the same information for the filing status and allowances. And from here going forward, we are in essence going to have the same hours and overtime and just enter this a bit more quickly. We just want to get practice and show that there's a re repetition for the most part and not focus so much on, on differences that could happen so that we can then get some data input in place and then move to um, the year end information. So these are basically going to be the same as the prior periods. We'll just get practice in doing this a little bit faster so that we can see multiple sections of data and see what repeats, what differs. What we really want to watch out for when we differ is going to be these caps. What happens to these caps after we have more payroll processes? That's really where you've got to be careful. So we're going to scroll back up and we're going to, these are going to be the same, the M and the allowances, unless there's any changes, then those will be the same. So unless anyone adjusted their W4 information. So I'm going to copy that information, right click. If I do a right click, I was going to, or control C, and then scroll down. And we're going to put that in B19, right click, and we want to paste just the form, just the ABC, not the form. Well, we can paste the format anyway, either one, whichever you like. And then we're going to go to the regular hours. And that's going to be, we're going to say it's 163. And we're going to say that 25 is the rate for more regular pay. And note, this, this should mirror. We're basically going to be mirroring what happened up here. That won't be the case when we have hourly employees. They may have different schedules that are you know, vary from time to time or maybe very consistent depending on our who we are working with. If we have salaried employees, it could be very consistent. So it just really depends on whose payroll we're talking about as to how varied their schedule will be for month to month or pay period to pay period. We are now going to have a very consistent schedule uh, so that we can just show the same data and put this data in a little bit more quickly and, and push forward with it. And then the rate's actually not 17, it's going to be <laughs> $25. Okay, and then as we do this, I'm actually going to make this green too. So we'll make this all green so that we know where we're, which data set we're working on. So I'm going to highlight from B19 all the way over to um, x22 right click and make that green so that when we when we go back and forth we'll be able to see that we'll have to go back and forth a little bit more than the prior uh, earnings registers as we'll see here so then we got the uh, regular pay which will equal the 163 times the 25 dollar rate we're gonna go through this a bit faster so if you want to slow down on a couple of these look at the prior months and it'll be much the same type of calculations the overtime hours we're going to say are three. The overtime rate is going to be the 25 times one and a half percent or 150 percent equals the 25 times 1.5, 1.5 or 150 percent. So tab, that's the 37.5. Uh, now note because we're doing the same thing here, we could copy this stuff down because the rate will be the same. And the payroll will be the same but we're going to go through the calculations a few more times because this is where we really want to focus in on these calculations of payroll so then we're going to say the overtime pay will equal the three hours times the 37.5 g19 times h19 tab total earnings then are going to be the regular pay plus overtime so total earnings equals the regular pay plus the overtime and that'll give us the uh, 418750. Now we got to go to the other types of earnings uh, and see if we hit the cap. It would differ if we hit these caps. Now I'm not worried about hitting the cap here. This employee is not going to get up to the 128400, but we do have to worry about FUTA and SUTA. So in other words, the OESDI or Social Security wages equals 
the same number. Remember that the OASDI could differ from total earnings in a case where we have a pre-tax item such as if the group insurance was a qualified cafeteria plan which would be a section 125 plan. In this case we're saying the group insurance is not a section 125 plan and therefore will not be uh, reducing the FIT income, federal income tax, social security, or Medicare. It will however be a post tax deduction and calculated in the calculation of net income. Now the FUTA, although this number is under 7,000, we have to go to the earnings records, the year to date earnings to see if this employee has already met that, that FUTA cap. To do that, we would go all the way over here, scroll back up, and we're looking for Anthony Moore has earned over 7,000. In other words, if we go to the FUTA, it's already been completed. He's already at the FUTA cap. So we don't want to include any more FUTA. So if we scroll back down to where we're at, the green area over here, we're going to say that FUTA needs to be zero. And if we put something in FUTA there, we're going to end up paying FUTA taxes and we'll overpay FUTA and then we'll have to adjust it and amend it. And then SUTA is the same thing. So SUTA, if we go over to the earnings records for this employee, scroll up to the records for earnings we see that he's over 8,000 here and we can see that he's over 8,000 here so it already he's already hit the cap there so I'm going to scroll back to the left we're going to scroll back down and say he's already hit the cap there so that means in other words no suta OASDI wages now we can calculate our taxes it's going to equal we're going to point to the OASDI times 0.062 tab. HI is going to equal the total earnings because there's no cap times 0.0145. FIT, we would be getting from the tables here. And we, but now since we have the same earnings, I'm going back here, I'm just going to pick up the same earnings just because we don't want to take the time to go through the tables again. So we've already looked up the tables. It's the same earnings here. And that's one of the reasons we'll keep the same data. So we'll say that the FIT, I'm just going to say is equal to the prior FIT because we have the same earnings. Okay. Got it. So now we're going to go to the group insurance is going to be the same as the prior year. The union is going to be the same as the prior year. It's not the prior year, by the way, prior pay period, prior month in our case. The 401k is going to be the same as the prior month. And then the net pay, we're going to calculate. Uh, so it should be the same as the prior month too, but we want to calculate that. That's going to be the total earnings minus everything that we're taking out of the total earnings to get to the net pay. Formula being equals SUM. Uh, I'm sorry. No, it's equals, and we want the total earnings minus SUM. Double click the sum function, and we'll highlight the OASDI to the 401k. And it's gonna close it up, that's okay, good. So there it is there. So 2,052 and 36 cents. If we scroll back up, that's gonna be the same calculation as up there. Okay, so now we're going to go to the employer portion of Social Security. So it's going to be the same, remember, but we're going to calculate it again. Equals the OASDI wages times 0.062. HI is going to equal the total wages times uh, 0.0145 tab. These two should match what the employer portion was. FUTA equals the FUTA wages, which is zero, times 0 0.006. And we don't need to obviously the formula there, but it's nice to have the formula to have everything in conformity. So if I was to copy and paste anything, it would be uniform, even though it's going to be zero and we already know that. SUTA is going to be this times 0.054 so there we have this so let's go to the next employee now we're gonna say we've got uh, Cindy 
we're going to say Cindy is going to be 161 hours, rate 28. Multiplying this out, I'm going to do this all with the keyboard rather than the mouse now. Equals, go on left two times to that 161 D20 times, go on left once, the 28, and then tab. And then we're going to go to one overtime hour. We're going to calculate overtime pay all with the keyboard here. So I'm not going to use the mouse at all. We're just going to say equals left, left, left on the arrows to the regular pay in E20 times 1.5, time and a half, 150% tab. Uh, overtime rate then, I mean overtime pay then will equal left, left, one, that one in D20 times left once the 42 tab. Total earnings then will equal left, 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 regular pay, plus left once, overtime pay, tab. So there's going to be our total earnings. Now, again, she's not going to have, uh, Cindy's not going to have uh, any problem. We're not going to have a problem with her getting up to the 128. So it's going to be the same here for OSDI wages. Futa, however, once again, if we scroll over, we have to, we, she's over under 7,000 here, but we have to look at total earnings to date, which is on the earnings records. So if we scroll over here up to Cindy, we see her total earnings are over 7,000 and she's hit both 7,000 and 8,000 for the Futa and Suta caps. So we have no more Futa or Suta wages, in other words. So if we scroll back over, we're going to say Futa is zero, Suta zero. OASDI, we can calculate now. I'm going to say equals, go left, left, left to the OASDI wages times 0.062 tab. HI equals total earnings, left, 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 total earnings times 0.0145 tab. FIT equals the same as the prior period, up, up, up that 235 tab. I'm going to scroll back down so we can just see our data here. Group insurance is going to equal up, 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 same as prior period for Cindy tab. Uh, union dues up, 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 same as prior period. 401k equals up, 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 same as prior period. Uh, net check will calculate here. So I'm going to do that all with the keyboard now. We're going to say this equals left, 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 total earnings minus SUM shift nine. There's our sum function, left, 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 left. This uh, deductions for social security, holding down shift now, right, 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 all the way to the 401k and then shift zero close that up. So there's our our formula with just the keyboard. Now we'll do the OASDI. We're going to calculate it again. Equals, this is the employer portion. Left, 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 OASDI wages times 0.062 tab. HI Medicare equals left, 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 left to total earnings times uh, 0 0.0145 tab. Now, if you couldn't see that, I'm gonna here it is here. It's also up here in the formula bar. So if you, it's all it's always there when we do the calculation. So this is gonna be 0 0.006 futa. So equals left 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 futa times 0 0.006 tab suta equals left 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 times 0.054 tab and of course those are always going to be zero now that we've cleared the the futa and suta caps of seven and eight thousand respectively back to the next data next individual next employee jill uh we're going to say jill uh, same status 140 uh the rate is 31 Multiplying this out equals left left times left once tab 
overtime zero tab overtime rate equals left 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 to the regular rate times 1.5 tab overtime pay then equals left left to the zero times left once to overtime rate tab total earnings equals left 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 the regular pay times left once the overtime pay tab again we're, we're uh um, something went wrong there is it let's do that again equals you wouldn't be happy with that left left to the 4340 plus left once tab I must have multiplied that okay so once again we're not worried about jill hitting this cap of 128400 so the oasdi wages are just equals the same amount 7000 has jill going over the 7 and 8000 cap we have to look at the earnings records let's go over the earnings records we're gonna say looking for jill over here oh jill where's jill here's jill so jill is over seven and eight thousand before this pay period and is at the cap for seven and eight thousand respectively so it should be zeros for jill for suta and futa wages so back to our green records we're gonna say this is zero zero oasdi calculation equals left 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 times 0.062 tab hi medicare equals left 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 times 0.0145 tab fit equals because we didn't make any change from last year we'd have to get this from the table but we're just going to pull it from last year because it's the same income that 474 tab group insurance equals same as prior tab the there is no uh none of that equals for 401k tab and then the net check will calculate down here because it's good times to do so equals left 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 all with the keyboard here left there's our total earnings minus the sum sum shift nine then i can go left 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 to the oasdi hold down shift go to the right 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 and highlight to the 401k shift nine to close it up and enter okay and then we're going to do the oasdi for the employer equals left 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 oasdi wages times 0.062 tab hi or medicare equals left 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 to the total earnings times you can see it up here 0.0145 one four five tab tab i think that's okay and it should be the same number so it looks good futa equals left 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 futa is zero times 0.006 tab equals suta left 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 to suta times 0.054 enter all right now we're going to do this for one more employee down here we're going to go to judy jones the owner here who is a salaried employee so we're just going to say salary regular pay 35,000 a month overtime pay is just going to equal the same as the regular pay total earnings over time sorry no, that's not true the total earnings will equal the same as the regular pay now she we're worried about her getting over the cap of 128 400 it's probably going to happen maybe not this time period let's go check so if we go over to our big earner here in the company judy is at 70,000. so she's not to the cap yet at this point in time she's clearly over the 7,000 and 8,000, so she's hit the suta and fute caps so we're going to go back over here and enter this data so still for for social security wages equals the same suta or futa is zero suta is zero oasdi is going to equal left 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 oasdi wages times 0.062 hi or medicare equals the total earnings 
times 0.0145 tab fit equals the same as last pay period tab group insurance equals the same as last pay period equals or tab not a union worker and the 401k equals the same as the prior pay period tab net pay we're going to calculate once again all with the keyboard equals left 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 total earnings minus sum shift nine for the brackets left left now we could do this faster by going to the left once and then so starting from the end point holding down shift left 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 going to the hi so it doesn't matter if you highlight left to right or right to left in other words it's still the same you can see the formula is the same it's this square is defined as n22 or it's a rectangle but n22 colon s22 shift uh, zero and enter so then we're going to go to osdi for the employer equals left 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 times 0.062 hi medicare for the employer equals left 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 times actually not that one we should be picking up this one and that's kind of important times 0.0145 not important yet but it will be so we want to be consistent tab and then futa equals left 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 this number times 0.006 suta equals left 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 times 0.054 okay so there's going to be our information for the uh, pay period of october last thing we should probably do is clean this up and uh, make it blue again now i'm going to just copy the formatting from this cell up here so that because uh, notice we didn't keep the blue from last time this blue which is a different blue so i'm going to highlight that i'm going to paint and make that's this color which is one of our standard colors so that one's always there and then i'm going to paint brush to to ungreen our other one so i'm going to highlight the whole thing not just one cell i want to highlight this whole group and then go to the home tab paint brush it and then i'm going to scroll back down and i want to highlight this whole group so that the formatting not just the color but the for formatting for the whole thing is this is equivalent so there we, there we have that. Okay, so there is that. The end.